Hello and welcome to Vector's virtual session recording of introduction of MacSec in the automotive EE architecture. My name is Harry Palmer and I'm the principal automotive system architect at Marvel Semiconductor. I've been with Marvel for just over 18 months and over 20 years within the automotive sector and I'm based in UK. In the next 20 minutes, I will go through what MacSec is from a semiconductor vendor's point of view, as well as what MacSec security protection can offer within the automotive sector. The agenda today uh, for this presentation, introduction to MacSec, okay, we'll go through the common security threats. Uh, what is MacSec? We'll go through the architecture of what MacSec is. What is IEEE 802.1x? We'll then go through some possible MacSec use cases within the automotive ethernet network. And finally, the conclusion. Introduction to MacSec. So as ethernet becomes an essential part of the overall automotive EE architecture for connecting between ECUs within the vehicle platform, the need arises to protect the data that is transported on such, such connectivity links. Data security protocols such as MACSEC are often deployed in Ethernet local area networks that support mission critical applications. Historically, these have included corporate networks of considerable, to a considerable extent and public networks that support many customers with different economic interests. MACSEC per IEEE 802.1 AE standard prevents layer two security threats, such as passive wiretapping, intrusion, man in the middle attack and playback attack by offering line rate encryption and protection of traffic passing over layer one and or layer two links. Preventing disruption and data loss arises from transmission and reception by unauthorized parties is highly desirable. So it is not practical to secure the entire network against physical access by a determined attacker. MACSEC allows only authorized systems that attach to and interconnect LANs in the network to maintain confidentiality of transmitted data and to take measures against data theft. So where does MACSEC fit in to the OSR layer model? So at the bottom, we see the uh, automotive ethernet uh, physical layer, for example, 100 base T1X, T1, 100 base T1, and 1000 base T1. And layer two, we see Mac, uh, the actual VLAN, AVB, TSN, and this is where MACSEC fits in to layer two. Common security threats. So some of the security threats uh, intruders can carry out in an Ethernet LAN include, but these are not just limited to eavesdropping, uh, compromising routers, links, routing algorithm, or DNS, sending arbitrary messages, including IP headers, replaying recorded messages, modifying messages in transit, writing malicious code and deceiving people into running it and exploiting bugs in software to take over machines and use them as a basis for future attacks. This diagram shows a common security threat uh, that we could see, we could foresee in the automotive environment, in the vehicle environment. So here is an example of a central switch in gateway uh, ECU that may have a diagnostic type port connected to a tester. Another link could be to the infotainment system where the user has the capability using a USB port, for example. Uh, and another example is a telematics unit, which allows you to connect to the outside world and the cloud. So at least these three links, which are exposed to the outside world, may need protecting. What is MACSEC? Well, MACSEC stands for Media Access Control Security or MAC Security and is defined in 
the IEEE 802.1 AE as point-to-point -point security protocol providing data confidentiality, integrity, and origin authenticity, authenticity for traffic over layer one or layer two links, and is part of a larger security ecosystem for Ethernet LANs. On transmit side of the link, MacSec and Mac security tag, sec tag and ICV integrity check value uh, to the packet and can optionally be encrypted and encrypt the payload. On the receive side of the link, the Mac MacSec engine can identify and decrypt these packets, check the integrity, provide replay protection, and remove SecTag and ICV. Uh, invalid frames are discarded or can be monitored. Let's look at the architecture of MacSec. So here we see an example of the Ethernet frame with the payload. And when MacSec is enabled, we see that the addition of SecTag and ICV added so that we can actually uh, protect the whole of this frame using MacSec. The other aspect is to create a secure channel. So for example, here's ECU1, ECU2. So you need to establish a secure channel between ECU1 and ECU2, and likewise from ECU2 to ECU1 to give it unidirectional secure channel. What is secure channel? So after authentication and key exchange are performed per IEEE 802.1 X standard, a secure communication link called secure channel can be established using MACSEC from one node inside the connectivity association to another. In a MACSEC protected network, each node has at least one unidirectional secure channel transmit to receive. The secure channel does not expire and last for the duration of the communication between the two nodes. Each secure channel is associated with an identifier, the secure channel identifier. And each node which expects to receive traffic sent through a particular transmit channel must, must, must be configured a matching receive secure channel. This, re this receive secure channel must have an SCI corresponding to an SCI of a transmitted secure channel of the peer. Secure association so within each secure channel, both transmit and receive, secure associations are defined. Each secure association has corresponding secure association key, the encryption decryption key, and is, a, and is identified by association number field of sec tag header. Secure association have limited duration, hence both sites need to establish a new secure association and switch to it before the old one expires, which is called the key rotation. Packet number and replay protection. So within each secure association, replay protection can be performed by checking the packet number field of sec tag header against the packet number locally stored. And each MACSEP packet has unique sequence number. And each packet number can only be used once in a given secure association. So how is MACSEC handle? Uh, data and control traffic. So all, all traffic is, contro is controlled on an active MACSEC port where data is encrypted or, it, or its integrity is protected or both. If MACSEC ses session cannot be secured, all data and control traffic are dropped. When MACSEC is active on a port, the port blocks the flow of data traffic. Data traffic is not forwarded by the by the port until the MACSEC session uh, is secured. Uh, if an ongoing session is torn down, traffic on that port is again blocked until a new secure session is established. Control traffic such as STP, LACP or UDLP traffic is not transmitted by an active MACSEC, MACSEC port until MACSEC session is secured. While a session is being established, only 802.1x protocol uh, packets are transmitted from 
that particular port. Once a secure session is established, control traffic flow normally through the port. What is uh, 802.1x? This is a network authentication protocol that opens port for network access when organization authenticates a user's identity and authorizes them for access to the network. Device attempting to connect to a secure network requires an authentication mechanism. So, eight, so 802.1x, which is an IEEE standard for port-based network access control, provides protection authentication for secure network access. 802.1x network is different from home network in one major way. It has an authentication server called Radius Server. It checks the user's credentials to see if they if the users, ver users are active member of the organization and depending on the network policies grants users varying levels of access to the network. This allows unique credentials or, or certificates to be allocated per user, eliminating the reliance on a single network password that can be easily stolen. The RADIUS server is able to do this by communicating with the organizations directly, typically over LDAP or SAML protocol. Possible MACSEC use cases within the Ethernet network in the automotive environment. Here we see an example where we have a camera connected to a display through the Ethernet network through an inline connector. So here we see an Ethernet PHY through a switch and possibly through an image processing system and then to a display. If a hacker is able to tap in, maybe by an inline connector using a, a switch and tap the monitor uh, and monitor the actual device itself. And in this way, the hacker is able to steal the data because MACSEC has not been, it's, it's still disabled at the moment. When MACSEC is enabled, because the data along the network has been encrypted, the hacker is not able to steal the data and is prevented from doing so. However, the hacker can disrupt the network. So video stream can be disturbed, causing video to stall or pixelate. So you need to take some additional measures as well. So video stream remains disturbed, but Denial of, denial of service does not propagate through the Ethernet PHY because this PHY has MACSEC enabled and therefore only the encrypted data is then passed through to the display. Conclusion. So using MACSEC, which has built-in encryption decryption, and if we combine this with the key agreement authentication, we could use within the automotive sector. Vehicle manufacturers could enforce MACSEC protection on the most vulnerable links which are exposed to the outside world. But as always, with security-related matters, careful considerations are needed to eliminate security vulnerabilities. MACSEC is a cost-effective security tool within the overall armory of an automotive, automotive security toolbox that system engineers could use in combination with other security tools like IPsec and TLS. That concludes my presentation on the topic of introduction of MACSEC in the automotive EE architecture. Just to go through some important takeaways, MACSEC, which has built-in encryption decryption and combined with key authentication, this will become an important armory in providing additional security layer. MACSEC is a layer two security measure and can be implemented in a cost-effective manner from a silicon vendor's point of view. I thank you for your participation and attention. I very much look forward to your questions at the live Q&A session.